name's Nance Paternoster. Nance? Nance Paternoster. Paternoster. Okay, great. I've been a digital artist for over 35 years. Awesome. Um, this was printed directly on metal, so this is um, aluminum, and I started by sanding the surface of the aluminum, and then laying down one of the golden digital grounds for um, this one. I actually used the um, non-porous surfaces. Okay. It was a, a clear, so you could see the metal. Right. Um, and you lay down a couple of coats just to make sure that you have it really even. And then um, what you do is you cut out a hole in a piece of foam core, mat board. Okay. Um, so that this can sit inside of it. So you have mat board going all around the edges. Uh -huh. um, and then you feed it through the printer. What What is the printer? Any uh, Epson printer that is, uh, has a uh, platen gap large enough to accept it. Okay. Um, and then after it dries, you have to kind of think about the archival quality and the um, finish. So there's uh, Golden also makes what's called an MSA varnish. They make a spray in a, um, one you can paint on. It is it's actually not here today, but they have something called a gel top coat, which is a, a, a product that has a um, you know a way to to finish something archivally. It's different. It has a thicker brushed on kind of texture, but okay. I actually created a spray booth in the garage where you uh, put on about six coats oh, cool. so that you don't have to cover it with glass. It's archival, it's UV. Right. But, um, oh, nice. There's something really cool about that. And each one of them is one of a kind because you're brushing it on. Um, yeah, sure. Cool. But these, um, these digital grounds allow you to experiment. They're really amazing. And you know, this is... Um, and so the purpose of them is to provide a foundation for the next layer that goes on top of it. For the ink, so that the inks print the inks. and they don't run and they don't stick and they don't... Um, they, they print the correct colors. They print what you're expecting yeah. them to print. Yeah. Okay. Um, these colors, I think, are... Um, they have fluorescent colors, and then they have some some acrylic paint that have like a, almost like an extender where they can take longer to dry, so it gives you more time to to work with them. Hmm. You have the high flow acrylics. That's what I'm about. There but you go. this too, I've also done. Come to the talk on Wednesday. Uh -huh. um, we're going to talk about printing all kinds. I print on fabric too. What time on Wednesday? My fabric pieces is over. Actually, I can show you a scarf. Uh, two o'clock. This is molding paste. This gives you texture. And it's, you know, people use it in traditional mediums as well. But I've done things where I've taken watercolor paper and put some of this down for texture. And then put the iridescent acrylics and then the digital ground. Cool. And then printed on it and then varnished it. Mm, they nice. have a, a varnish that's a, that I painted on it. It's silk satin. Wow. And, and you and use. It's usually paper backed. The company is. Uh, oh. Card. It, oh. This is a picture medicine. of. Um, Look at how beautiful that is. is. So this uses jacquard paints or fabric. Jacquard fabric. Yeah. Okay. And golden paints or. No, it's just it goes. I had I printed this on a Epson 9800. Um, Whoa, you're kidding, really? Yeah. Oh, fun. And how? And you can print that long on it. Yeah, you can print. Um, just keep going. <laughs> A hundred feet? Wow, on the 9800. Yeah. And Any what's the width? Four feet. Um, but the width of the... of The, the printer, four it's feet. It's four feet. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's huge. Okay. Is it 48 or 44 inches? I think it's 48. 48? No, I use a Canon. I suppose it's 44. They're all around the same. That's beautiful. You know, I had the last show I had 